Oh, what is going on? Everybody's here. Welcome back to uh, some more Icarus. And sadly, the last episode that I'm going to have recorded of the first beta weekend. But that's okay because um, hopefully before long, we'll have beta weekend number two. But yes, thank you so much for coming back. Hopefully you're enjoying. If you do like, subscribe, all the fun things, you know how it is. Um, likes and subscribes actually help out the channel. So make sure, make sure you're doing this. Anyways, last episode, we, uh, we got the kitchen made. We got our fireplace. It's super amazing. It looks great. We got this moved into here. Uh, we got some oxygen stuff figured out. And I gotta say this little oxidizer is actually pretty handy. So that's going to be the household one. Um, and then up here is like the bigger one for like the to go oxygens, you know, but we are going to hit level 15. We're going to get some stone stuff. And then we are going to leave the planet. We're going to leave the prospect and see what happens. I know it's exciting. So I believe what we want to do is make sure. I don't know. I'm going to unlock some things with my points, but I'm going to also keep some points because I'm not really sure what happens. Like once we leave, you know, once we already have a character, once we already have some levels. So we're going to figure that all out today in this episode. Um, but yeah, make sure you uh, make sure you leave a like on the video. It does help out a lot. Okay. So we are level 14. We just need to hit level 15. And honestly, I'm thinking that just mining up a couple of ores real quick will probably do it for us. Actually, I should go put these ores away. And we probably should grab our food as well. Wow, that means it's not done cooking yet. Jeez Louise. All right. So let's go out. Let's do it. We're going to fill up our water skin as well, I guess. Um, because yes, <laughs> we're going to do all the things now. If I was smart, I would hit, you know what? We're going to hit level 15 by mining rock because I'm going to need it to build stone stuff. Anyways. All right. I'll change my mind as much as I want to collect stone for the next level. Uh, it's very slow. It's a very slow, uh, low, slow resource to, to gather. That's that gives you like next to nothing in far XP. So uh, we're gonna go we're gonna go mine up whatever these are over here yeah so mining literally anything other than stone gives you uh xp so much faster holy moly okay we are level 15 oh come on where is it at uh level 15. <laughs> level 15. now yeah okay Oh, exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Okay, so I was gathering some wood because I'm like, you know what? We're going to need probably wood and stone in order to make um, stone walls and stuff. So we're going to go check those out. We're going to make our uh, mason station. Let's see, where are you? It's way over here. Okay, masonry bench. Let's go and unlock that. Stone beam. Stone frame. A heavy stone foundation extends height and stability of constructions. Okay, well, I know, I know I need the floor. I know I need the wall. We know we need the door. Stone frame. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get this. And then we're going to leave one point. We're going to leave one point available because I don't want to use all my points. I want to leave one point available to see what happens to that point if we leave. Are we able to apply it later? Like, what's going on? You know what I mean? Uh, okay, so let's go into here and masonry okay so we need iron ingots which should be in here we have 91 of those suckers heck yes that is fantastic okay so put that in there make this guy and then we're gonna need probably stone wood and fibers maybe maybe all right so masonry workbench let's just go ahead and put it right here perfect okay so, um, oh, foundations require iron. Oh, everything requires iron. Wood, stone, leather. They require leather too? What? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. That's crazy. It requires iron as well. I was assuming it'd be stone wood, like, you know, like an upgrade from wood. Because, okay, hold on. This was my expectation. Wood. Uh, a wood wall requires fiber and wood. I was expecting a stone wall to require stone, wood, and fiber. More stone than wood. You know what I mean? Like, that's like the natural progression. But no, it wants leather and iron? What? 
<laughs> this is crazy. You crazy. Okay, well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Let's go ahead and start putting all the stuff in there. Um, so let's throw our wood in there. Apparently we don't need fiber whatsoever or sticks. I cooked fish. Let's go ahead and consume these. Those are about to go go away. Uh, and then let's go ahead and grab stone. Bunch of our stone, bunch of wood. I can't believe we need iron and leather. That's crazy. I mean, we have a decent amount of leather, but like, that's kind of one of those crazy items. Like we have to go out farm animals for that. So, I mean, man, whatever it is, what it is. Um, oh, let's grab the iron. Let's get that processing. Same with, oh, we don't have any copper. Okay. Then we're gonna need iron ingots. Uh, iron ingots. And let's go get and get the iron going. Activate that bad boy. Um, okay, and then actually I'm not gonna need any more iron in here because we're not gonna really do anything. Stone, stone, wood. All right, I think that is it. Let me go make sure I don't have any hide anywhere or uh, leather anywhere else. Oh, actually we have some copper right there. Oh, we have 29 leather right there, heck yeah. Okay, so go ahead and throw our leather in there. All right, so what I want is I want to, let's get one of these foundations. Let's get a stone frame. This first requirement, well, do we want a stone frame? I mean, yes. Uh, let's start with stone, <laughs> shoot. Does the stone frame act as a floor though? You know what? Let's craft one up and let's see what happens. Let's bring it in here and let's, let's go downstairs and let's see what happens. So if I grab this, we deconstruct that floor. I think it acts as a floor. Let, let me grab a stone floor and see if anything goes on top of it. The, the only reason I'm worried is that if it doesn't act as a floor, then the floors are going to be floating. And as soon as we deconstruct everything, it's going to be like, boop, and away it goes. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't think it acts as a floor. No, it does. It definitely does not act as a floor. Okay. So, um, for the sake of, I don't really care because we're not going to be staying in this place for super long. I'm not going to put those foundations in. I want to start off with walls on the bottom and go from there. Now, do we get uh, XP for crafting? Oh, we do, but not a lot. Interesting. Okay, so I crafted 12 walls because I want to see what they look like down here. All right, so let's drop out. Let's let's start swapping out some stuff with stone here. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go into this and we're going to Y to destroy. And then put the stone one in. Nice. Okay. But I don't want to do I don't want to do too much at a time here. <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking. You know what? I think it's easier to do this from the inside, to be honest. So let's see. Okay, so there. Oh, you're not facing it out though. There. Okay. And then let's see. We got a door on that one. All right, and then we'll hit up some of these walls. That one, that one, and that one. Okay, so let's take a peek. Let's see how these look. Now, I got to say, one thing I'm already liking that I can tell. Okay, okay, I like that. I like that. That looks pretty good. That doesn't look too bad at all. But what I like, actually is the interior. I actually like those that wood on the back. It's not just like the same texture on both sides. I like that. That makes it feel like an interior. You know what I mean? That makes it feel like an interior. I like that. That's that's good stuff. I like that little design choice. Everything else is, I mean, basically the same. Obviously, there's our seam, but it does a pretty good job of hiding it. And I mean, it actually looks pretty good like this. Like the stone and the wood like that. That actually would make sense. You know, <laughs> I like it. Also, people did tell me or people were saying 
that um, when you use these pillars like this for these posts and not these foundations, obviously, uh, to actually put walls in the ground right here so that it will stop like wolves and stuff from coming underneath of your base and like trying to directly attack you, which I like. I think that's smart. Uh, so that looks good. I do like that. Um, let's see if we can get another wall and a reinforced door and kind of see what that looks like. So the stone wall, do, do we not get the reinforced door? Maybe the reinforced door is in here. Oh, it is. Okay. Um, we need some wood for that. Do you have any wood left? Oh, yes, you do. All kinds of wood. Okay, so let's throw this in here. Let's make ourselves a reinforced door. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got uh, we've got a wall. Oh, wait, hold on. We need, wait, what kind of walls are these? Oh, those are wooden walls. Why do I have 12 wooden walls in there? Oh, you get those back. You get those back from destroying them. Oh, that's kind of an interesting, uh, interesting little deal. Okay, so let's grab the wall. Let's destroy that. And then let's get our door frame variant. Grab that and then get the door. Ooh. That looks like a door. <laughs> it's just a door. I know, but it's exciting. Interesting. Interesting. I like that. You know, it's actually kind of funny that some of the stone is overlapping this wood like that. Because, I mean, if you were going to in like put a wood door within a stone wall, like that's how it would it would look. It would look there would be stones like peeking over the. I like it. I like it. That's super cool. So if I was going to be chilling in here, we're going to be doing lots of stuff. Um, I would go through and change the entire bottom layer to stone for sure. Uh, probably go through and add these foundations. What were those called exactly? Uh, stone frame, a heavy stone foundation extends height and stability of construction. So yeah, I like those. I really do like those. So those are pretty neat. We got stone wall, reinforced windows, all that fun stuff. Uh, talents. We have some talent points available. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. What, how, how, how do you think it's look? I think it looks pretty good. I actually like the stone and stuff like that. Oh, it's so exciting. Okay. Yeah. So that's looking pretty good. The stone stuff in here, I like that. We'll have to do some, we'll have to do some floor stuff, uh, you know, at some point. And uh, was there stone pillar? There was stone pillars. There was, yes. Yeah, so mm, I like it. I like it. All right. Well, I think that's gonna do it. I think that's all we're gonna do for this uh, for this beta, because that I believe that's kind of what this beta was for. Now I could go through and I could work on getting higher levels. We could work on you know getting a level twenty or whatever, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now because. Well, for one, I don't know for 100% that the character is going to carry over um, because, you know, betas, things happen that, you know, characters might not carry over. And two, I don't think there's actually a whole lot else for me to do right now because, I mean, okay, yes, we could get into the new tech trees. We could probably get into all this stuff, copper, glass, sheet, like we could get into all kinds of stuff. But um, I want to have something to do in the next one, you know, I want to be able to do some more building, more, more exciting things. Yeah, I like that. I like that, but what we're going to do now is we're going to see what it's like to leave in our dropship. The only way in, your only way out. I like that. Sorry, we had to cut down some trees. We had to get that screenshot. Oh, breaking down those walls. Okay, so press to interact. Return to station. Now, ship cargo, I, we, there's nothing. We can't do anything. And I also don't think taking anything back with me is going to make a difference either. So let's do it. Let's hit return to station and let's see what happens. Returning to orbit will settle your claim to this drop and delete all items you're currently carrying. Rewards will be calculated once everyone leaves. You cannot return. Do you wish to leave? Yes. Let's see what happens. We're back in. Okay. Um, Icarus Beta Weekend, Rating Character, Prospect. No rewards. Talent tech tree. Do these all stay? Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have been in here. Oh, character selection. Okay, so now 
Can I? Oh, I can't do anything. So right now, there's nothing to do aboard the space station. Okay. So I was kind of curious to see whether there would be a different selection menu once you got back. If there's, you know, you could still access your your upgrades, your tiers, whatever, all that stuff. I was curious if you were going to be able to mess with that. So interesting. So we have our level 15 character. So it looks like, I wonder how many characters you can have. It might be good to like make another character, try to get some levels. You know, that way, if you ever do have to start over, you don't have to start over back at zero, but um, interesting. So, you know what? I'm actually kind of curious. If I start a new prospect, are we going to land in the same location? We probably would. Let's see what happens. Pro oh, wait a second. Okay, so no, there is. So complete, complete prospects. Click here to claim rewards. Um, no faction mission to complete. Prospect rewards. Delete. Okay, so nothing here. Uh, prospects host or find a lobby to join. Now the outposts. That looks like something interesting. I'm not going to even talk about that because I don't really know about it. Uh, but it kind of seems like there's like a an outpost is going to be something that's like, uh, progressed through the storms. Like that's going to have like progression i don't know for sure quick play probably join somebody uh tech tree you can actually access your tech tree there's my two points uh loadout inventory workshop inventory maybe when we start bringing stuff back loadout change your loadout maybe what you start with workshop hmm, new mail and prospect notification oh we'll collect our zero dollars <laughs> Okay, and then talents. So there's a talents tree. And that looks to be... That looks to be all we have. Customize. Oh, so you can actually customize your character afterwards, too. Oh, that's kind of cool. Nice. Awesome. But that's going to end this episode and this beta weekend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Now, if you're confused and you don't know what I'm talking about and you're like, beta weekend, what do you mean? It's like whatever day. Uh, these were all, like, recorded these all in the beta weekend. So, um, next beta weekend is in two weeks from recording. So, hopefully we'll have some new content and some new things to do. But, yeah, thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.